part of um, when when the program was originally started at Google, it was contemplated as an open access program. Uh, the problem with that is that in the United States, carriers don't overbuild each other. So cable operators don't overbuild each other. Phone companies don't overbuild each other. And so if you didn't have any of the large incumbents uh, on that network, uh, you basically end up in an environment where no one can effectively have the scale to offer a gigabit affordably. Because you have to have the scale on long haul transport and, and the rest to be able to do that. Uh, that's part of the reason why we are doing, we're doing it as a retail operator there. I think um, there is this argument that has been advanced in many places that it would be nice just to have one infrastructure that was a monopoly and effectively have multiple providers ride that. The NBN in Australia is constructed in that, in that model. Um, personally, I would say I am distrustful of all monopolies. Uh, and uh, I think you may argue that there's inefficiency in doing it that way, but the problem with that is, you know, if, again, if you look at the NBN, right, um, there's this fight with the conservatives and the liberals over whether or not it will make money or not, and uh, the statement that came out of one official recently gave me the heebie-jeebies. They said, well, it's a monopoly. So all of these guys will have to bring their traffic to it, therefore we can't lose money. Now this is just really terrifying, right? Um, I think um, the cable networks and the HFC networks in the US are very capable. I helped uh, design DOCSIS back in the old days when I was with at home. Uh, and I think uh, having a competitive environment, while wasteful at certain levels, uh, actually is the, maybe the, the least of a set of bad uh, trade-offs.